Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some feminine designer fragrances that men cannot resist, okay? Trust me, I've done the legwork. <laughs> I've gotten compliments from colleagues, from strangers, from bae, from friends and family. And this is basically a roundup of their feedback of the most complimented fragrances or the most reactions I get when I'm wearing certain fragrances from the men's, okay, the men folk. So if you wanna know about these feminine, sexy designer fragrances that you're not gonna really break the bank with that men can't resist, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, give me a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. I will comment back, I always do. And also leave me a sense of the day. I wanna know what y'all smelling like. So let's jump right in. So the first fragrance on today's list is by Kayali and it's Vanilla 28. Now we could go back and forth and say whether or not it's niche or designer. It's designer today, okay? So Kayali Vanilla 28. It's a beautiful, sweet, super sweet brown sugar vanilla fragrance. It doesn't have much layers. It's very linear, but it's perfect to layer with other fragrances. If you have fragrances in your collection that smell masculine or too woody or too green or too whatever, add some Vanilla 28 and get your life. I'm actually working on a video of fragrances to layer with Vanilla 28. This goes with any fragrance notes. Like, it, maybe not citrus, but I mean, I guess so, because they layer this with the citrus fragrance as well that I don't have. But I mean, this is beautiful to layer. Let me tell you the notes. Vanilla orchid, jasmine, brown sugar, tonka bean, amber, amber wood, musk, and patchouli. Super sweet, super feminine. Men love this fragrance. It's vanilla, so it's an aphrodisiac. Y'all, this is everything. Vanilla 28 by Kayali. Flower Bomb. Let me get your favorite fragrance. Yes, Flower Bomb is next on the list. This is a man pleaser. Bay loved this fragrance on me when we first met. I'm gonna show y'all the fragrance that I had on when I met him. But when we first met, I was wearing this fragrance all the time and he loved it. I was wearing this fragrance on vacation. Like not even taking a coconut or nutty scent because, or taking it, but not really wearing it because this fragrance right here, like he always loved when I wore it. So, and he always complimented me when I wore it. So like, this is a beautiful fragrance that I will always have in my collection. It has so many memories attached to it. And it's just a beautiful, sweet, floral scent but when you think of floral like feminine floral fragrances this is like almost gourmand it's like a gourmand floral it's very heavy it's very deep for a designer floral scent super sweet let me tell you the notes it opens up with bergamot there's green tea jasmine sandback rose freesia musk and patchouli it's floral it's woody it's green it's sweet it lasts forever on the skin Definitely a compliment getting fragrance and I'll always have it and men cannot resist the good girl flower bomb. Okay, y'all. So this is the fragrance I was wearing when I met Bay, And this is Mon Pari by YSL. It wasn't this bottle. This is my second bottle, but I had the big bottle. This was one of my favorite fragrances at one time. I wore this to the ground. Like it's so beautiful. And I used to get so many compliments from men <laughs> when I wore this. And honestly, when I bought it, it was like, Oh, it's so cute. Like the bottle is cute. You know, it's pretty. I love the pink juice. It looks beautiful on my vanity. And it's a nice scent. But I didn't think I was going to be getting attention and meeting the love of my life in Mon Paris. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a super expensive fragrance. It's not like super deep, super complex. But it got his attention and he loves it to this day. I don't wear it that much outside. Like to be honest with you, I really don't wear it outside unless I'm in the house, showered, and I'm, you know, I sprayed down with this. Now I gotta run out to the grocery store or run out somewhere. But I don't purposely put this on to go outside. But I mean, I should. It's a nice spring summer scent. Um, it's really sweet, so I feel like you can wear it in the fall and winter as well. It's not one of those fragrances that disappear off my skin. I've heard different from other people, but honestly, I don't have any performance issues with this. It's sweet, it's not too light. It's super, super fruity, so if you love fruity fragrances, you'll love Mon Paris. Let me tell you the notes. It's a whole lot too, let me tell you some of the notes. 
There's strawberry, raspberry, pear, orange, tangerine, and bergamot. I told y'all, very, very fruity. There's peony, there's jasmine, there's datura, orange blossom, patchouli, there's musk. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance, y'all, but it's so pretty. I just love it. The bottle is gorgeous. It's so feminine. It's so playfully chic. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a really nice scent to have if you love fruity fragrances you'll love this and trust me when i tell you the men love mon Pri. next up by chanel we have coco mademoiselle intense now y'all know i don't really speak about chanel fragrances a lot on my channel i do own some and i do love them but when i tell you the intense is my favorite or is it coco noir I go back and forth between the intense Coco Mademoiselle or Coco Noir. But either way, I get lots of compliments from men with this fragrance, y'all. Men love this scent. It's classy, but it's still kind of fun and flirty at the same time. I don't know what I'm going to be smelling like at the end of this video. And I'm going out. <laughs> y'all, but I mean, I'm just going out like to grab a quick bite. Nothing serious. But I'm spraying all these fragrances because... I haven't smelled a lot of them in a long time, so I definitely wanna spray them to familiarize myself with them. And this is just beautiful. If you have like a stigma, or not a stigma, but if you feel like Chanel fragrances all smell old or dated, I'm telling you, try the Coco Mademoiselles. They're super popular. I feel like a lot of women own Coco Mademoiselle at this point, but the Intense, like I said, is my favorite. So in the Intense, we have Sicilian Orange, Bergamot, Rose, Jasmine, Patchouli, Tonka Bean, and Madagascar Vanilla. If you guys are familiar with this fragrance and you wear it, please let me know what your performance experience is with this. Because for me, this is a beast mode scent. Like literally, you can't overspray this. I mean, you can, because I do. But beware, because if you're wearing this to the office or around a bunch of people who's sensitive to fragrance, you might choke them out. So beware with the good girl Coco Mademoiselle Intense because she is strong, okay? She definitely wants to make her presence known, but she smells so good and men love this fragrance. It's an irresistible scent. Coco Mademoiselle Intense. So sexy comes in all different forms, all different fragrance styles. It doesn't have to be deep, dark, woody, and resinous. It doesn't have to be masculine leaning. It doesn't have to be unisex. There are some sexy fragrances that are super classy, super sophisticated, and just make a statement without doing the most. And one of them is Mon Guerlain, and this is the original Mon Guerlain. Oh, y'all. When I tell you, it's such a beautiful lavender and vanilla scent. This is so pretty, y'all. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Lavender. There's rose in here. There's, is there a rose in here? I'm lying. Let me tell you the notes. There's bergamot, mandarin orange, there's pear, neroli, jasmine, lavender, iris, vanilla, and sandalwood. Very classy, very sophisticated. When you smell it, you're not going to smell it and be like, oh, this is super sexy. But it's something sexy about it. You know what I mean? Like, you can be sexy, fully clothed from head to toe. This fragrance right here is saying, I'm sexy, but I'm classy, I'm sophisticated, I'm a lady. You know what I mean? Do not disrespect me and do not play with me. That's what this fragrance is right here. It's so pretty. Oh, it's just so ladylike and so beautiful and men love it. Trust me when I tell you, I always get complimented when I wear Mon Guerlain. So Mon Guerlain, a very irresistible designer fragrance to men. Next up by Dior, we have the Poison Girl EDT. This bottle is so cute. <laughs> I just love looking at this little bottle. It's so super cute. Now, this is your almond, kind of like dessert smelling, not too floral, but very nutty, like almost like a nutty, creamy dessert. This right here will bring the boys to the yard, okay? I'm telling y'all, Poison Girl EDT is amazing, okay? If you don't have the coins or if you don't want to spend the money on a super expensive niche fragrance, but you want attention from men or from whoever, like you just want to smell good for yourself or whatever, get this fragrance, y'all. It's so pretty. It opens up with bitter orange. There's damask rose, rose from grass. There's almond, vanilla, and tonka bean. To me, it smells like, it smells like a creamy, like nutty dessert. And it smells like it has whipped cream, but there's no whipped cream note or anything. 
but it's so pretty y'all i don't wear it outside of the house this is my i'm in the house i'm chilling we're watching movies it's a date night in the house and i'm throwing this on right here this right here is a problem okay poison girl edt by dior Next up, we have Angel Nova. It's tropical, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's a little bit tart. This is everything, okay? This is my second bottle, and I got the big one because I ran, oh, oh my goodness, this is so freaking good. I ran through this bottle last year, y'all. So many compliments, so much attention. The sillage and the scent trail, when the breeze blows, and you're wearing this fragrance, trust me when I tell you people are going to smell you. I wanna say, okay, so almost every weekend we go to the lake in the summertime, right? We love boating, we love going to the lake, we love eating at the lake, whatever. This was my like signature going to the lake scent because it's very breezy down by the lake and there's a lot of people around and I'm telling you, people always make mention of this fragrance when I'm wearing it. So it's one of those fragrances like, I'm going to the lake and I know people are gonna smell me. It's a nice breezy day. The tides are a little bit high that day. I'm wearing this right here because I want them to smell me. This smells so good. It's like sweet, but fresh and clean, but still deep and woody. It's so beautiful, y'all. Do not sleep on Angel Nova, okay? I told y'all before, did I tell y'all? It's my favorite flanker. Is it a flanker or is it its own fragrance? I'm not sure. Yeah, it is a flanker because it's Angel Nova and the original one was Angel. And honestly, it doesn't have any DNA of the original like Angel. It doesn't smell anything like it. Like, to be quite honest, all the Angel flankers don't have any similarities to the original, in my opinion. I don't really smell it. But this right here is my favorite one, Angel Nova by Mugler. Next up, another Kayali fragrance. We have Eden Juicy Apple. And just talking about this fragrance makes my mouth water. This is so juicy. It's so sweet. It's so beautiful. Do I have any skin left? Let me put it right here. I need to, oh, oh my goodness. Now, oh, oh my goodness. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It doesn't last on my skin. It don't last worth a damn. But it smells so good. It almost smells like, a lipstick like a sweet like imagine some type of a drink some type of a juice or like a lipstick scent it's so good y'all oh my goodness and to layer with other fragrances it's beautiful like i said it doesn't really last on my skin it doesn't last at all on my skin i'm getting about three hours tops on its own i love to layer with this fragrance another one that i love to put with fragrances that smell a little bit more unisex or a little bit more masculine to add that little sweet feminine touch but it also gives me like um, a Victoria's Secret body splash kind of scent. I told y'all initially when I got this fragrance, I told y'all that it reminded me of like something that an exotic dancer would wear at work. If you know what I mean? Like when they doing a thing, you know what I'm saying? Twerking it and doing it. I feel like they're going to smell like eating juicy apple. And there's nothing wrong with that because men love this. Okay. Let me say the notes. It opens up with red apple, there's black currant, lychee, pink grapefruit, wild berries, raspberries, uh, there's rose, jasmine, there's musk, there's sugar, there's vanilla. There's a lot of notes in this fragrance, but let me tell you, it is beautiful. If you don't mind it not lasting that long on your skin, and if you have this and it lasts on your skin, let me know, like let us know in the comments because fragrances are subjective. What lasts on me may not last on you and vice versa, you know what I mean? I just know that she don't last on me, but I don't care because it's so beautiful. I was sent this fragrance by the brand, but honestly, I will buy this fragrance. I would buy this fragrance because it smells so good. It smells like candy. Like it just smells like sweet candy or some type of a fruit juice. So if you love sweet fruity fragrances with like a vanilla dry down, you need this. Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple 01. Next up by Valentino, we have Donna Born in Roma. Y'all, this fragrance is amazing. I got this when it first came out and I love it. This was, I think I did a YouTube video like when I first started my channel. This was either my second or third YouTube review. I love this so much, y'all. It's so sweet. Another really sweet one, but to me it smells a little bit boozy. I don't have any more skin, so it's the card for me. It has like a little, 
boozy scent and I think it's the bourbon vanilla. Let me tell y'all something. If you love vanilla, if you love sweet, but like with a little bit of booze, you're gonna love this because like I said, that bourbon vanilla adds that little boozy aspect and I'm telling y'all, I'm obsessed with boozy fragrances right now. I love fragrances with alcohol. It doesn't smell like you got into a bar fight <laughs> or anything like that, but it just adds a little bit of sexiness to the fragrance that I'm obsessed with right now. So let me tell you the notes. Black Currant, um, Bergamot, Jasmine Absolute, Jasmine Sandback, Jasmine Tea, Bourbon Vanilla, and Woody Notes. Beautiful, y'all. Lasts forever on my skin. I have no performance issues. Always get complimented when I wear this fragrance. It's a sweet, fun, happy fragrance, but it has that little bourbon vanilla, like that boozy aspect to it, and I'm obsessed. Valentino Donna, born in Roma. Next up is Black Opium. And don't come for me unless I send for you. Okay, I don't care what y'all say. Black Opium is that girl, all right? Like, I know I know y'all noses is real bougie right now, but let me tell y'all something. This is what I feel. I feel like if you started your fragrance journey later in life and you just started out the gate, like you just jumped into niche fragrances, of course, if you smell something like Flower Bomb or Black Opium or Burberry Hurt or any of these fragrances, they're not gonna like they're not gonna do anything for you. They're gonna smell basic to you, they're gonna smell generic to you, you know, yada yada yada, whatever y'all like to say. But if you started wearing fragrances at a really, really young age, like I did, I was wearing fragrances in high school. I grew up wearing like body sprays and then I elevated to designer fragrances. So I was wearing the uh, black opiums when they first came out and the flower bombs when they first came out a lot of people probably weren't wearing fragrances at that time so these fragrances i have memories attached to them i get so many compliments with these and i'm talking about complimented from like way 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 back in the day like this isn't from 2020 so i love these kind of fragrances now with that being said am i wearing these on a sexy date night today no i'm not Back in the day, yes, I was wearing these on a date night. Like these were my date night fragrances. You couldn't tell me nothing, okay? But now that my collection has grown and my nose has experienced other scents, there's other fragrances that I wanna wear on a sexy date night. But let's not get it twisted. Make no mistake about it. Men still love these fragrances. They may smell basic to y'all or generic to y'all or you know, not a lot going on with them, not worth it, whatever y'all say but the men folk it doesn't take a lot to please them y'all i'm telling y'all like the man ain't gonna say oh it's, it's not resinous enough for me like y'all don't smell sexy you need more oud or you need more vetiver like they're not saying that y'all they're like mm, it smells sweet you smell like a snack um yeah come here <laughs> like that's what it is with these fragrances so this opens up with coffee white florals and vanilla and i say that because with my man this is one of his favorite fragrances on me yes he loves a lot of niche fragrances on me clive christian this that the third unisex scents you know what i mean but he still loves these fragrances because it's not a lot going on with them. And honestly, guys, the men aren't that hard to please when it comes to the fragrances. As long as it's sweet and fruity and floral and playful and or gourmand or whatever, they're going to love it. Trust me. So Black Opium by YSL. Next up by Burberry, we have Her Elixir. Y'all, this is my strawberry pound cake, strawberry pie, strawberry gourmand fragrance i wish i can see my dent like honestly the pink bottle it is cute like i love the opaque look but i need to know what i'm like where i'm at right here because i really can't tell by shaking it and i'm kind of nervous like this fragrance is so can i maybe i could spray it here on my little shoulder because ooh, oh oh y'all first of all I have so much fun with this fragrance. Layer this fragrance with strawberry pound cake from Bath and Body Works, or layer it with skin potions, cookie butter. Um, just layer this fragrance with like fun, sweet, fruity, like gourmand type or vanilla scents. You will get your whole entire life. This smells so good to me. Another one, I know y'all be saying this is basic and all that, but the man isn't gonna smell this and say, do we got that bergamot? <laughs> I don't smell no bergamot. This ain't sexy. He's not saying that, y'all. He don't care if the bergamot is in the fragrance. 
<laughs> because it just smells so good. Let me tell you how the notes. It opens up with strawberry, blackberry, jasmine, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. It's sweet. It's slightly powdery. It's gourmand. It smells like cake to me. It smells like strawberry cake, like period. Ugh. I'm obsessed, obsessed. I love it so much. Very her elixir. Next up by YSL, we have Libre Le Parfum. Okay, this whole list of fragrances I can say I'm obsessed with because this one right here, I went back and forth whether or not I should buy this because I have the original and I have the intense, as you guys know, if you're not new here. But this right here, I think it's the saffron in this fragrance. It's something, pretty much something in this fragrance that just does it to me whenever I smell it. Y'all, look at my dent. Y'all know I just got this fragrance. I'm going to have to get the bigger bottle. Like, I'm going to just stop playing and get the big bottle at the next sale. Whether it's the 4 or 20% off sale, Macy's sale, I need a sale. But I'm going to get the larger one to this because, I mean, this doesn't make any sense. Like, I just ran through this little bottle. So let me tell you the notes. It opens up with ginger. There's saffron, mandarin orange, and it got that bergamot. <laughs> orange blossom, lavender, bourbon vanilla, honey, tonka, and vetiver. Y'all, you know what? I'm playing around. Let me... Ugh. Ooh. Y'all, I don't even know what I smell like right now. I got a lot going on, but it smells so good. Ugh, last long on my skin. Honestly, I feel like if you don't own any YSL Libres, get this one right here. Get this one right here. I feel like this is the best one. Although, like I said, I do love the original and the intense. But this one is just extra sexy and the men love it. Okay, trust me when I tell you. YSL Libre Le Parfum. Okay, so the last fragrance on the list is by Dolce & Gabbana and it's the only one. Y'all, why can't I find this? It's looking like it's not around anymore. Like, what's up with that? Did they discontinue this? Because it's not at Sephora. It's not on Sephora.com. I don't think it's on Ulta. Like, what is the problem? Because if they try to discontinue this, I'm going to have to write Dolce in them and let them know. Like, they tripping. Because this right here is so freaking amazing. Okay? It's caramel sweet. It has coffee. Y'all. But it doesn't smell too strong of coffee. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. It opens up with violet. There's orange. There's bergamot. Coffee. Pear. Iris, orange blossom, rose, caramel, vanilla, and patchouli. I have this one and I also have the only one intense. And I do love the intense for the summertime, like spring, summer, because it has that coconut note. But y'all, this one right here, like, this is like um, chokehold factor. And I know I'm not supposed to be saying the chokehold, but I got to figure out what I'm going to replace the chokehold with. And then I'll, you know, come back to you. But just act like y'all ain't hear me say that. But um, yeah, this is like choco status because like I said, it's super sweet, but it has that coffee. But the coffee isn't too strong. It's just enough. The caramel, it's like yummy gourmand, but it still smells like a fragrance because it has floral notes in it. It's not too like edible. It's just like I said, it's perfect to me. Like I love it so much, y'all. Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know what are some of your designer fragrances that men can't resist. And if you guys notice, I didn't put any Tom Ford fragrances on this list because I could have put Bitter Peach, I could have put um, Lost Cherry, but I didn't because those prices, they're not designer prices. Like those fragrances are um, what, $500 for 100 mil and, and uh, $400 for a 50 ml. So we just gonna leave the Tom Ford out of this list here today. But um, yeah, like those fragrances are irresistible, but we try to focus on fragrances that's less than $200, less than $150, you know what I mean? So let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.